Old, we come finally to a team of performers who are among the most popular on stage and air. One of them's late again, but when he does arrive, we shall have pleasure in presenting the two Leslies. Come on, come on, my little fella. Come on, Sir Oni. What's your excuse this time? Well, I've come a long way to get here. You have? Yes. Where have you come from? Italy. Italy? Oh, in Africa, too. Eee, e what did you do? do? Yes, Leslie and I, we've just returned from Africa and Italy. When we were out in Italy, we went up the line with the 8th and 5th armies, entertained the boys there, really had a grand reception. It was a wonderful experience, one that Leslie and I wouldn't have missed for worlds. Of course, when I got back, I had to do a bit of shopping. Shopping? Yes. I went into a tobacconist, and while I was in there, a young lad came in. Shopkeeper said, what do you want? He said, pack of cigarettes. Shopkeeper said, how old are you? He said, ten. He said, I can't serve you, you're too young. The kid said, blimey, what a life. Too young for cigarettes and too old for oranges. Oh, I say, Leslie, tell him about the little soldier that went to see the M.O. Oh, yes. The little soldier went up to an M.O. and said, uh, please, sir, I want a cake poultice. The M.O. said, I presume you mean a bread poultice. He said, no, sir, it's for an officer. Oh, while we're talking about entertaining, I'd like to tell you about an amateur would-be soprano. She was singing to some troops, and by gum, she was punishing them. They weren't browned off, they were crisped off. She was singing one of those songs, sort of, Come on, come on, my love, come on. Ah, ah. So when she'd finished, she turned around and said, Now, boys, what would you like to hear next? A voice from the back shouted out, The siren. Reinforcements arrived at a certain part of the line, so the adjutant went over to the CO's quarters and said, uh, you there, sir? CO said, yes, what is it? He said, reinforcements have arrived, would you care to look them over? The CO said, yes, I'll look them over. So he came out and caught sight of these reinforcements, and they were rather a motley lot. Some with knock knees, some bow legs, some with brewer's goiters. Rather shook the old man, so he eyed them up and down, he said, uh, <clears throat> For your information, you're now members of one of the finest regiments in the British Army, renowned for its numerous awards for valour. I don't know what the Germans will think of you, but by gosh, you put the wind up me. <coughs> and now we'd like to sing a song that the boys enjoyed very much indeed. A sailor, a soldier and an airman were having a chat, chewing the fat. When you think the war will be done, one cried. A little fella cocked his hat and sighed. In a few more days and a few more months and a few more years from now, we shall all be rolling home again. Never, never more to roam again. In a few more days and a few more months, we shall give three hearty cheers. Said little private short, we'll win cause we've resources, but it will take some time before we hold our horses. And the little kids we left behind will all be in the forces in a few more years. In a few more days and a few more months and a few more years from now, we shall all be rolling home again. Never, never more to roam again. In a few more days and a few more months, we shall give three hearty cheers. Oh, won't it be a day when that all clear is hissing? I'll meet the wife and have a basin full of kissing. And I'll also have a lot of other things that I've been missing in a few more years. Oh, boy, when I roll home, shan't half be feeling flighty. I'll meet me pals again when I get back to Blighty. And shan't I be glad to see my little missus in her new hat in a few more years. 